Okay, question 12. Shh. Elsa took a two-year loan to buy a car at 6% simple interest. If she has to pay 264 bucks in interest, how much principal did she borrow? Now, this stuff, flat, straightforward, same formula. We're not changing it. It is I equals PRT. Okay, your chapter test on money has two parts. One will be online. It will be very much like Form A or Form B. So I'm going to go through all of Form A with you. I will post all of them online for you to watch. I will send you home with Form B as practice. I'll even post an answer key. I won't go through all the problems, but I'll post the answer key to it. So you'll have two versions that you can double check that you know what you're doing. And then your first part to the test is going to be all the formulas. I'm going to have all the formulas. I'm going to have a spot on there and a big blank sheet of paper that says, please tell me the interest formula. Tell me everything you know about it. So you're going to write I equals PRT, interest, principal, rate, time. Rate is your percent decimal. Time always has 15 years. Now, I put this in here. My interest is 264. My principal, I don't know. That's where I had told people, hey, draw your four big long lines. Make it almost like a mathematical puzzle of slide in the numbers in the spots that are easy. That said interest, you can't screw that up. It's got to go there. It says two years, got to go in time. It also said 6%, but you guys are brilliantly smart. It's 0 0.06, goes in this spot right here. This is an X. Now, I like to show all my mathematical numbers in work, and I like to talk about multiplicative inverses and fancy things. So I write 264 equals uh, 0 0.06 times 2 becomes, I think, 0 0.12, correct? Yeah. 0.12 X. Then, oh, I wouldn't possibly want to be able to do that in my head. And it's always funny, I'm trying to use... I will, I will divide... And now, understanding algebra... Anytime I have an X, I have to inversely do what's by it to get rid of it. Right now, it's multiplying by 0 0.12. Don't do anything crazy. This step, divide by 0 0.12. Divide by 0 0.12. Now, I am not testing you on your division abilities right now. I'm testing on your, on your financial abilities and your formulas and your, all of your stuff. So this cancels out. I get X. Man, I just tell you, plunk it in your calculator. 264. Divided by 0.12. Now it's cool. When you divide by a decimal, like multiplying by the inverse, it gets the number big. Elena, what's my answer? 2,200. Now let's go and see if this makes sense. If you ever put the number in the wrong spot, eh, your 264 ended up over here. If your 264 ended up over here, you're going to get a way whacked out number for interest that'll be way too small or way too big. Now, I took out a $2,200 loan. I had to pay $264 in interest. That sounds about right. Your interest, it's only, you know, 6%, so sure. Question three. I saw somebody give me a really cool answer on this, so I'm going to have to try to figure out what they did. Question, three. Question 13. It says, the bar diagram represents 24 hours in a day. If you sleep 30%, how many hours do you sleep now? We don't use the bar diagrams as much as they probably should have. It says divide this, it'll make 50. And I'll say 10, 20, 30, 40, um, 60, 70, 80, 90. I, you don't have to draw them perfect. And then it says color it in 10, 20, 30, right to here. So I got to figure out now, unless I proportionally draw perfectly because I'm crazy, and then I measure. I probably can't get that number off of there, but I, I can realize right now that my answer is way less than half, so it better be less than 12 hours, something like that. So now, I'm going to do 30%, the bar diagram it's 30%. 30% means 30 over 100. 24 hours is my whole, because it's going to go on bottom, correct? Has to go on bottom, because there's only 24 hours in a day. I'm figuring out X. Now, I would love to look for shortcut. Uh, I would like to reduce, cross off some zeros, three tenths. No, I'm not. I look at this and say three tenths, 10%, 2.4. So I go 2.4, 2.4, 2.4. I do 2.4 times three in my head. I got my answer instantly. No. Yeah, I've been around mathematics for 30 some years. No, longer than that probably. I'm trying to think. 19... 
I was in seventh grade. 85. That's a long time. So, yeah, I've been around it a little bit longer than you guys. So, let's just pretend that we're going on your pace. We go 100x equals 30 times 24. 100x equals 24, 12, 31, 72. I think I'm getting 7,200 here. I think I am. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting 720. I carried over an extra zero. Me bad. Way bad. So I get 100x equals 720. Divide by 100. Divide by 100. I get 7.2 hours. I had a really smart kid earlier in the day. came up because Mr. Solomon marked it wrong. I had 7 hours and 12 minutes. I said a tenth of an hour is 6 minutes. Two tenths of an hour would be 12 minutes. I said, you're right. So that's totally cool. So I don't know if he converted everything over to minutes. I don't know how he did that. Next one. Holy smolies. This is kind of putting the icing on the cake, putting in the candles, and checking something just totally, absolutely, positively random. Does everybody realize that when I say 25%, it means 25 over 100? So if I want one-eighth of a percent, it is redonkulously small. One-eighth over 100. Why wouldn't you do it by 10? Now, what gets hard on this question, I do one-eighth. I do one divided by eight. I would do one divided by eight. And anybody else get the calculator nice in hand? Well, I suppose I don't have to be lame. I can do it the old-fashioned way. Earn our mathematical weebies here. It ain't going to kill any one of us to show a little work. And to bust that bad boy wide open, to get 0.125. Now, you know that when I divide by 100, how many decimal places do I move? In what direction? Three. No. Chris. It's going to get smaller. Two spots to the left. So right here, big decimal point. Put it right there. Move it two spots to account for 100. So I have a point zero zero one two five. Point zero zero one two five. It's a seven and a half minute fun video of learning.